Hello everybody, I'm Spark249, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Monsters Inc. Scare Island. So this is the urban training grounds, we're going to jump straight in and beat City Park. And we get a new character selection, but let's just be Mike again. Because Mike's awesome. So now this is an actual level. Let's actually have a look at some of the hints. The Monstropolis City Park. Look for the playground, the hidden park. And the secret treehouse. A lot of secret stuff. Okay. You can't destroy the, loco the eh, locomotive by jumping on it because of the smoke that comes out of its chimney. Okay. So I won't jump on the locomotive. I'll just do that to it instead. Did you have any other suggestions? Hit some object. What the heck was that? Hey look, there's probably more you're losing it. I think there's more primordial ooze in it. Who keeps throwing away all this primordial ooze? I almost had a bag of calories in it. Wonderful. Can I... Can I... Oh, I can. Well, I can scare blue nerves. But you're a green nerve. Oh, you're a blue nerve. Let's scare him. So all we're going to do for now is pick up the bronze medal in this level. Simply because not everything's accessible to us right away. There's a locked door, what do you know? There we go, that's everything out of that bin. Heck is that? That was nerve in it. There's an orange nerve in it, so I haven't got a hope of being able to scare him yet. You look like an enemy if I've ever seen one. I think was that thing a spinning top? Okay, it's just a random tree in the middle. Well, I can scare green nerves now, so at least I can go back and scare the one that was on the hang on the monkey bars. Still need far more ooze to go and um Get that orange one I met. There's a lot of bags of calories around here. Right, let's get that green nerf. How do I scare you? Oh. Okay. There we are. It's two nerves. Get oak. It's all good. Uh, where next? That way. Ah, this is one of the things we need to unlock. So if I talk, I dare say this will tell me about it. You can use the trampoline to jump higher and reach places you couldn't before. But I need to win four bronze medals to access the trampolines. So I can't actually use the trampolines. They're just completely spectral, ethereal. Can't be touched. Hey, look, a yellow nerve. And the other nerve's beaten. Ow! And this primordial ooze lying around here. What the heck? Okay. This primordial ooze lying around here should be enough. Yep, it's filled up the orange meter. Now I can go back and find and scare that orange nerve. How many will that make? That'll make four. So I still need to actually find one more in order to get the bronze medal. Where was that orange nerve? He was around here somewhere. No, he wasn't. Okay, I'm... Oh. How did I miss that? Still going to need a lot more to go... Ah, there he is. Still going to need a lot more to go and fill up the red section. Gotcha. So it's really not hard to complete a scare. As long as you can just read which button pops up, which isn't difficult in the slightest. That's five nerves. No, it's not. It's four nerves. So now I can go into this door that opens. I don't like that noise. Well, you're dead. Aha! I've been. Trash can. Whatever. 
The thing in which people throw their refuse. That's a green nerve. And this is the fifth one. Not bad for a guy with one eye! There we go, that's all five nerfs scared. So now, I guess I will save. Uh, so now, yes, I'm going to... Why does it access both memory card slots? It usually asks you. Uh, yeah. Save over the empty scare island. But yeah, uh, I think I'm just going to hop to another part of the urban training grounds. Seeing as there's our exit portal. And here's a part of the movie. Alright, come on, let's grab a bit more Primordial Ooze to tide us over. Uh, there is a red nerve up here, which I can't scare. I'll quickly click this switch to open up something. Now let's get out of this level. Oh. Didn't I just empty this? No, I was going crazy. Now I can just pause me. All the ooze is regenerated. That's useful. That's very useful. It means I can just reuse the same ooze I picked up before, including the red ones. And fill up the meter easy as pie. Well, let's quickly fill the meter. Just this once, just so I die in a real level. As opposed to orientation. There we are! There's an extra try for filling it. Now if I quickly go to the inventory, you'll be able to see I've got the bronze medal, five nerves scared, no tokens, but I've fully filled the meter in City Park. As you see, there's 12 levels. I know the receptionist, whatever her name is, said there were 15 at the beginning of the game, but I'm assuming that means the th that includes the three pursuits levels, which are sort of mini-games to be honest. So that's City Park beaten, so now we're going to walk out and we're going to walk straight back in. And now we're going to go to the city centre. And I'm going to play as Mike again, because why not? So yeah, for this episode I'm just going to get all the bronze medals of Urban... Uh, the Urban Trading Centre. Here you actually want to attack these. Ah, like that. Uh, you ca Much like when I played Castle of Illusion, any enemy that's... thing... Oh, hello. There's just a try right behind you at the beginning. And some ooze, which is good. Hey, there's a blue one filled. Hopefully I'll find a blue nerve. You're defeated. And look, a token. And a long drop. There's a green nerve. Aha, a blue nerve. A nerve I can actually scare. And that's a green meter fill, so now I can go and scare that green nerve. Somehow he was still in range, but not going to question it, just going to terrify him. To the point of exploding. Okay, so I obviously need to destroy the reinforced one. Hey, look, there was a thing behind it. And another one! This has been quite uh, generous with the extra tries. Not that I'm saying that's a bad thing, but... You know, I haven't even taken damage yet, let alone died. There's a nerve. That's three nerves already, so we're doing well. I won't bother f completely filling the red gauge. Ah, so that uh, scaring this nerve opens that door, which looks like part of the scenery. So that's if that door wasn't open by 
was all over by default, that would be very misleading. Yes, I want to climb up. Couldn't just let me climb it. Where was that? Where was that? Oh, here. So we're in a store. I see you there. Come here. Um, allow me to scare you. So pretty much every level in this game needs to be revisited just for the uh, the items you unlock from getting all the bronze medals. Okay, so that opens that door. Yep, this has... Whoa! What was that? Being a bit violent, weren't we? I'm just minding my own business by destroying your stock. You come over and try and attack me. Come on, let's get, some, let's get enough to scare orange nerves at the least. Excuse me. Can you leave me alone, please? There's another one. Leave me alone. I've done nothing to you. Hey, I filled up the orange nerve meter. Get a bit more ooze. I know there's an orange nerve skipping around up there somewhere. And there we are. Scared. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying, Mike. So I'll get the bronze medal. I'll quickly save and I'll be back. And there's the door. And leaving the And stop playing bits of the movie. Or give me in trouble. Okay, so let's just get out of here, I suppose. To the door! Oh, I have to. There's a red one right here. So that's... that's the second one done already. So you can see, getting the bronze medals is very easy. Especially in the earlier levels. On to... Ah, that's odd. It only shows the medals when you've actually got it highlighted. Which is a little bit awkward. The docks. And yeah, I'm going to be playing as Mike for the entire game because... I don't know, I just like him better. Right, anything right behind me? Bunch of ooze, and let me guess, there's a nerve in here. I don't know why you're laughing. Don't have enough ooze. There we are. Now I do. Don't know why you're laughing. You're the weakest and easiest to scare nerve. Okay, you're down. It's great to break. Ooh, a token. Dead. More primordial ooze. The heck are you? Oh, you're an enemy. Don't swim. Can't swim. As you can see here, another instant inst instance where we would need the trampoline to progress. You leave me alone, strange toy man. He's still following me. Oh, that's a green nerf. I was wondering what that was then. Just this weird, strange thing punched down in the middle of the dock. Oh, whatever. I've scared him. A bit lackluster, but it worked. Oh, that seems safe. Oh. Thank you, I need those. And there's only a green nerve over here, so it should be easy enough. That's three. So there's 12 levels, and there's... Oh, I've unlocked the ship. That's awesome. So there's 12 levels, and there's eight nerves in each. Uh, maths. That's... 96 nerves, I want to say. Oh, there's a moving platform. I was thinking, what's the point of this? And I happen to have just enough ooze to scare a yellow nerve. 
Booga, 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 booga. Booga, 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 booga. And now I get to jump off a lighthouse. Wonderful. I'm gonna. I know I can't progress very far to get the token, so I'm just gonna grab the red ooze and be out because you know red ooze is always worth picking up. And the very plain blue water, I'm just going to assume is instant death. Or it might be the Mario 64 style-esque, I'm going to launch you into the air. But, doubtful. Ah, so that's the door I just unlocked. Come on. Can I fall in that? Oh, I just saw you up there, there's a red nerve up there. The nerve! I apologise, that'll be the one and only time I use that pun. There we go. It's odd. For a second, those rats seemingly can't hurt me and I can't hurt them. Whoa! An orange nerve. And that's four. There we go. Oh no, it's all five. So now I can get out of here. Wonderful. And we're back. Let's probably get out of here. Oop. That was actually close. For some reason, after a certain distance in his jump, Mike just decides no, he's not going to double jump. So let's get out of here and let's go to the fourth and final area of the urban training grounds. Which is the marketplace. Should be easy enough. Right, what's right next to me at the beginning? I know there'll be something. Spyro did it, Crash did it, this game will do it at some point. What the heck? Ah, oh, those three nerves are disrespecting me. Okay, so that's the token picked up. There's a trampoline. And although we can't use the trampoline itself, we can certainly grab... Uh, oh good, it's not used to death, it's literally... It'll reset you, but it only damages you. Wow, this is going to make this game easy. What does this say? Uh, smash boxes open to see what's inside. Careful, some boxes will hide enemies. I think we've already come across that several times. And, the, just to prove the point, the very next box contained an enemy. Ah, oh, there's who's up there. Who would have known? That one contained three, uh, ooze, though. That one contained an extra try. Doing well. I can't scare blue nerves though at the moment. I need much more ooze. Okay, so maybe two seconds. And we're back. Oh, forgot. Should probably actually grab the bag of calories. I'm actually taking damage now. Okay, so there's a blue nerve. Wonderful, I can scare him. Wow, this is the first nerve I've actually managed to scare in this level. I thought it's been quicker than this. One down, four to go. Let's grab this token while it's here. Alright, what do you have to say to us? To determine the exact location of an item, look at its shadow. I think I'm aware of the basic ways of manipulating of, of utilizing shadows in videos. Don't you run away from me! Ouch. What the heck? You interrupted me. That's not that's mean. Well I got him regardless. So just make sure to clear enemies away when you're about to try and scare a nerve. Because apparently they can just attack you and you'll just stand there and get beaten up. Oh, there's another extra try. It's not often you see games which are as uh, free and on extra lives as this one is. I mean, there's one other which I'll do in a later video, maybe. If you ever played, I'm not going to say much about it, but if you ever played Eminem's Shell Shocked, uh, you'll know what I mean. All right. Was there a nerve up here? It's token. Not much else. 
I can scare up to yellow nerves at the moment, so... There's got to be something in here, look. And of course it was an enemy, why could it be something useful? There's nothing else here. Token. Can you kindly? There we are. This looks fun. Uh, Mike, you want to break it? There we are. Another extra try. Ah, the ability to get onto the roof. Well, I can nearly scare orange level nerves now. Let's probably get down. Whoa! Didn't mean like that, but that worked. Gotcha. It's always funny watching their little scaring attempts. Hey, yeah, let me guess, you gotta unlock that. Saw that coming. There's a rat over there. Maybe it's a friendly rat. Nope. It's not friendly. It was trying to kill me. You all saw it. Token. Might as well grab them now, just saves having to pick them up during cleanup. And they're basically on my path. Oh, you're a nerve. Thought you were an enemy for a second. That's that. Come on. We've got one more nerve after this. Oh, simple jumping. And made it through relatively unscathed. Okay, so there's an orange level nerve and a monster token. Let me guess, it's all three gongs. There we go. So you have to hit one of them twice because the carpet doesn't raise. Let me guess, you're going to jump down, aren't you? Can't be a good nerve. Stay right there. Be a good mic and actually get on the carpet. Oh, all right, come on, I can do this. Good. Just one orange nerve. And scared. For a guy with one eye. Wonderful. And now we have all four bronze medals. Which means I need to quickly get out of this level, so I think I am actually going to do the because it's such a long way to walk back, I'm just going to quit to scare island. Okay, Sully, here we go. Oh, another part of the movie. Wonderful. And this happens. Because we now be able to use the trampolines, so keep an eye out for them. There they are. Ta-da! Good luck. Just good luck. That's all you need. And now, as a little bonus, we get to do urban pursuit. Right, so you have to collect 75 tokens and finish the race before Randall to win. Up makes you go faster, down makes you slow down. Let's go. Well, this is difficult. If I remember correctly, I might have just been terrible as a kid. Oh yes, because my, my gear works off a very, very strange uh, set of physics, let's say. I don't think I need to collect all of them, do I? Just enough. And now you start running. Well, that was embarrassing. This way slower, but it involves more tokens. Come on, I can beat Randall. I can do this.
And like an extra try. I've clicked enough tokens. I, I thought it was counting down, so I wasn't really paying attention to it. <laughs> no, it's counting up, and I've surpassed 75. So I don't need to worry about the quick way. What? No. That was cheating, Randall. Randall, that was cheating. No. Randall, stop. I don't know why this is called Pursuit. It's a race. I'm not chasing anyone. And there we go. Not bad for a guy with one eye. We win. Victory while it lasts. Okay. Sullivan, Wazowski, congratulations. Your satisfactory completion of the urban training grounds has earned you access to the desert training grounds lying just beyond this gate. Good luck. And remember, you can always return to the courses in the urban training ground to improve your completion level. Wonderful. So, now we get to go back to Scare Island. Because as... Um, Mr. Waternoose just told us we've unlocked this desert training ground, which is the second world hub. Contains another four levels, which we're going to need to get all four bronze medals in, but we'll be doing that next episode. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Oh, by the way, if you want to re-challenge Randall to the pursuit, just talk to him. Grab right to him, you can push circle and challenge him to any of the three pursuit uh, eh, pursuits as long as you've already done them. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Spark249. Have fun. <laughs>